Hey guys, I still don't have my new video camera yet, but I wanted to take a few minutes and record a little video tonight on some Metal Bell CRTs. I showed one of these recently in a 16 inch Admiral TV set, but I don't think I've ever talked about these in any detail. What we're looking at right now is a couple 16 GP4s. This one came out of an Admiral set and this from an RCA. These pitcher tubes are kind of infamous for a few reasons. Both relating to how dangerous they are. <laughs> uh, one problem is that this entire... Well, let me explain a little bit more about what these are. So, a normal pitcher tube is all glass, and fairly thick glass, to resist the pressure, the air pressure on the vacuum inside. And the larger the pitcher tube, the heavier they get. When you get to 16 and 19 inch pitcher tubes, they get really, really heavy, like 50 plus pounds. So, I believe it was RCA came up with this idea of, hey, let's make them partially metal. So... This is a conventional CRT base and neck, electron gun inside here. And this is glass, but this, this from here down to here is metal. Fairly thin metal too. So these are actually fairly lightweight, maybe 10 pounds or so, which sounds great, but Keep in mind that on an all-glass CRT, there'd be a little button here where the high voltage goes in, and then the inside of the glass is coated with a conductive coating that carries the high voltage. Well, on these, because it's metal, there is no <laughs> way to pass through a high voltage uh, lead and then have like an interior conductive surface, because the whole thing is conductive, so... In reality, the way these would work is you'd just hook the high voltage right to this. So the entire thing from here down to the front is at the full high voltage potential. And in the case of this tube, I think it's around 12 to 14,000 volts. So as you can imagine, pretty dangerous to be around. I've only worked on one of these sets so far, and it was a 19-inch set. And whenever I would turn that chassis on the workbench and get anywhere near it, all the hairs on the back of my hand and my arms would just start, <laughs> would raise up and start tingling. Very, <laughs> very scary to be around. Now, the other problem these have is the nature of the construction. We've got, so we have a glass metal interface here. These can fail and these can leak. Likewise on the front, let's see, let's tip this one up. This one's still mounted on a plastic frame. Uh, although you can't see the seam too well, so I guess I'll try to... Hang on, I'll, I'll tip this guy up so you can see what I mean. Okay, here's what one of these looks like from the front with no mounting hardware whatsoever. So, we've got the metal lip around the outside, and then the glass faceplate. Of course, you have to use glass here, so you can see the glowing phosphor through the glass. So all around that edge there's uh, like a weld between the glass and the metal. Well, that's a fairly fragile weld. There's a lot of pressure on it and they have a tendency to break. And when these break, well, they implode. So imagine this front shatters, it implodes, so it gets sucked inside the tube which is metal and it can rebound off of this and come shooting out the front sort of like a little cannon. So, <laughs> that's the other reason that these are fairly dangerous and notorious. Some of these CRTs I've come across were installed bare in the cabinet. They would just have a piece of wire with a metal clip that would hook on to the edge of the CRT and then plug into the high voltage circuit. 
others have had this cute little plastic skirt around that would fit around it with a, a clip on the edge here and you plug your high voltage in there. Don't think that this plastic would give you any protection though. If you were to get near this while the set was turned on, you'd still probably get a pretty good shock through this plastic. So, this 16GP4 I bought from a Video Karma member and it's going to be going into my Admiral set because the picture tube that it came with is pretty weak. This one I salvaged last summer out of an RCA set that was in miserable condition and not worth restoring. The base is pretty well messed up, but I did uh, scrounge one out of a brightener I'm going to be installing on it. And I want to get it out of this plastic frame. It's held in by some metal clips around the edge. And then I'm just going to hang on to it for a spare in case I need it down the road. Which brings us to the main subject of this video, which is this guy. Which is a 19 AP4 I just salvaged a few weeks ago out of another set that was not worth restoring. So, it's a 19 inch 19 AP4. It has been rebuilt. You can tell that pretty clearly because there's a, a seam on the neck here, which is where they would have cut off, cut off the old neck and then installed a new electron gun and re-welded the glass here. I tested it briefly when I got it and it tested quite good. I'm going to take out my Sencor CR70 now and test it a little more thoroughly. I don't have any sets that use a picture tube like this and I don't expect to be getting any anytime soon. These were used in Zenith porthole sets and Dumont sets amongst uh, numerous others. So I'm selling this. Uh, if anybody's interested, check out the classified section at Video Karma or shoot me a personal message on YouTube. Uh, because these things are so big and so fragile, I really can't ship this. So it's going to be a local pickup only in Chicago, Illinois. I've hooked up my Sencor CR70 and I've let the CRT warm up for about five minutes. And let's see how it tests. So I've got it on filament, right on 6.3, and we have no shorts, no shorts. Just adjust the cutoff so it's inside that box. And as you can see, when I rotate the cutoff knob, the needle moves, which means the grid is responding like it should. And for emissions, it's pretty darn good. And if I press the life test, which is button right here. The needle barely moves. So. Alright, so that is one good picture tube. If anybody is interested, like I said, I will be posting in the classified section at Video Karma or you can post me a message on YouTube. Hope you guys enjoyed this little look at some metal CRTs.